Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm doing a setup tutorial on the Hikvision storage server software. You can set it up on Windows or Mac. Let's go! So I had this older machine that was going to be thrown away so I decided to reuse it as a video server and that's exactly what I did. Now it's running a Core i5 and it's a quad core and it's a Sandy Bridge processor so I figured that should be plenty. So first thing you want to do is go to the bottom right hand corner and you'll see an icon that you can right click on and do some local configuration and the IP address is set up for DHCP so it auto hands that out to you but the port is kind of important if you're going to be using port forwarding in your router if you want to hit this from outside of your own network so you set up your port then you can right click again and you can actually set it up to auto run that means after you do a reboot it's going to launch itself and start up the services and you can also have it auto log in if you want, if you want to put in your OS login and password. And once you've clicked OK, the icon will reboot itself in order to take the change. Um, so that's what I did for mine because this is going to be a dedicated server for my video recording. And as you can see, I put in a bunch of hard drives. I, I put in three two terabyte hard drives and also a 120 SSD hard drive to run the OS and all of its uh, processes. In case you were wondering, the program I'm using is Speccy to get all of the specifications off the computer. All right, now let's go to the client PC and launch the uh, software and you can actually do all the remote programming from any client. I just wanted to show what it would look like on the storage server itself. And as you can see, I already have it configured here. Now, if it didn't exist already, it would be in that bottom there. And you could say add to client. Then you could go in here and start modifying the settings. Now, I've already have it showing how many hard drives I have and how many cameras are hooked up to it. Um, but all of these settings are not as important as the storage setting so you can pretty much skip to the storage setting because everything else is pretty much already set so as you can see here the DHCP is set up Now you can use static also uh, I just set it up with DHCP now um, here is it's very important that you format all your hard drives before you start linking cameras to the storage server um, and it's a really simple process. You just highlight the drives and then you can say format. Now you can format them all at the same time or do an individual. Uh, but once you've highlighted it and clicked format, you'll see that progress bar start to go up. Once the progress has completed all of the drives and uh, you've saved it, it will reboot the storage server and then include those drives as part of drives that can be selected in your drop down. So now let's go over to the storage schedule and this is very important. The storage schedule is where you link the storage server to the cameras. And first of all, you uh, you can see here I've already got a template for the SD card that's local. But if you select the storage server, so you just go to the drop down and pick it. Now you can say record on a schedule and then you pick, I picked all day template. Now you can pick on event or whatever else but I really wanted to catch stuff and I didn't want to miss anything and since I have so much hard drive space it's a lot easier. And then you can select all and then just select the stored server and that's pretty much it. You saved it and now if you go to every camera you'll see the same server, the same template and uh, 
even when I go to my group camera, which is basically just all my cameras in one group, it already has the settings. So once that's done, let's test it. And I set this up earlier, so I've already got some recorded video on there on my storage server. And as you can see, they're in blue now. So motion, it defines the event in pink. So anytime you see the timeline, you'll see that the uh, pink uh, signifies the motion detection, and the blue is just standard recording. It didn't see any motion. So that's how I know that it was operational and working, because I know that on my SD card, I only set it up for event or motion detection recording. And once I set it up for the all the time recording, it went blue. So it definitely works, and I will update in the description later if I have any problems. And if you guys want to leave comments on anything you want me to try in this software, I'm going to create a tutorial on adding cameras and general device management, event management, and account management, and also system configuration. So keep a lookout for that. Anyway, that's pretty much how you set it up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you want to catch more tutorial videos and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Thanks again.